Hey everyone, welcome to the soccer show that's completely dedicated to getting ready to play. <laughs> She's ready. Let's do it. Okay. I love it. Okay. This is Indivisa's Ready to Play presented by Elf Cosmetics, where the best soccer players in the world go in depth on their daily routines on and off the pitch. I'm Jessica Black. And I'm Megan Reyes, and today's guest holds down midfield at West Ham United and steals a show in the Netflix documentary about the U.S. women's national team. Joining us from London, it's NWSL champion Christy Mewis. What's up, Christy? How are you? I'm good, you guys. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad that we're finally here and this is what we get to talk about. <laughs> These are the fun questions. Like, I always want people to ask me about this. Well, perfect, because first we want to know, what is your morning routine? Like, what is... Walk us through what Christy Mewis does in the morning. The second I wake up, I have to press the coffee button. I literally <laughs> stand and stare at the coffee machine until it's done. I'm really hangry in the morning, so okay. I like have to eat breakfast right when I wake up. Sometimes I have oatmeal, sometimes I have um, fried eggs and toast. It's usually one of the two. Same. And then I will go and do my skincare routine. I'll rinse my face. I will, you know, put some hydrator on. Um, put some moisturizer on. Sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I'll do like the gua sha where it like shapes mm -hmm. your face and you can like get all the Love lactic that. acid out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes. I kind of like let that sit in during my drive because my drive is like an hour and then when I get to training, I'll put my, um, my SPF on before I go out for training. Has anything changed about your routine since you've been in England? I do feel like I am getting a little bit more pale here because this, there's not that much sun <laughs> right now. So I am, I am feeling like I am putting a little bit more blush on or some bronzer. Um, do you like think you'll I find a tanning or, bed while oh, you're out no, there? No, absolutely not. Yeah, like I regret that so much when I was younger. Like mm. I, I went to the tanning bed, bed and I begged my mom to go and she's like, you're gonna regret this. You are gonna <laughs> regret this one day. And I was like, I don't care. Like I need to be tan for prom. Like, oh, and I, I'm honestly like, I cringe about it now that I went. Like I literally cringe. I'm so upset with myself. So one thing I wanna know, and I know you're, not, you're, you're famous for this in the good ways. What is the Christy newest <laughs> eyebrow sequence? <laughs> I I feel like it's just kind of like turned into this thing now yes. like I feel like I've just said that I have good eyebrows but I don't I mean I don't <laughs> think mine are really that much better than anybody else's but I am obsessed with them I definitely tint them darker which I think makes a huge difference um, I have a eyebrow pencil of course and then I think the gel stuff like the, mm -hmm. the gel stuff that kind of makes it like stick up and gives it more of like a laminated look yeah is my favorite and then I, I mean I, I use all of the serums to try to make them grow more <laughs> I, I feel like I like put them in pictures and I'm like look at my eyebrows like comment on my eyebrows Christy thank you so much for telling us about your morning routine we've taken notes for sure Speaking of Christy's eyebrows, she sent us this video to let us all in on her eyebrow secrets. Okay, um, let's do my holy grail. Let's do the eyebrows. This brow pencil from e.l.f. is waterproof and I need that so bad. Also, have you guys like learned this trick? Like this, just fill in a little bit. Then as you like brush up, it kind of gives it like a subtle like, oh my god, my eyebrows longer. I'm ready to have a Christy day. That's it. Okay, Christy, we have a set of referee cards here for you to decide. We're gonna give you different scenarios, whether it's completely unacceptable, sometimes okay, or like green light, good to go. You ready? Ready. Playing with dirty hair. Oh, that's play on for me. I definitely <laughs> like dirty hair because it's almost like the grease is like <laughs> the grease is like a bit of like gel to keep it like nice and nice and snatched. I know, I get what you're saying. I love that. I don't have an issue with that one. <laughs> Slide tackling and training. Play on, for sure. <laughs> Play on. Leaving the house without your eyebrows done. <laughs> I, I would say yellow because I don't do them every day, so yellow. Okay, how about this one? Forgetting your hair tie and playing with your hair down. I mean, that's, yeah, that's obvious. I used to have a problem, <laughs> I would wear a ponytail and the ponytail would like whip across my eyes and it would like stick there <laughs> from like my sweat yeah. or just like if it was raining or something and I couldn't see. So like I had to 
I had to get rid you of the ponytail. You usually do the bun, right? The yeah, top I do bun. the bun now. I used to do the ponytail, but I just, I can't afford to lose the ball nice. like that anymore. All right, well, that was fun. Thank you for playing with us. Yeah, that was fun. I find, I'm glad I finally got a chance to understand what these truly do. Okay, Christy, so obviously you've played in NWSL, WSL, U.S. Women's National Team, so you have a lot of playing experience, so we're gonna play Fact or Fiction, and hopefully you can help us debunk some of these myths. You ready? Okay. Fact or Fiction, having chapped lips will affect how you play and your mood. Oh my God, fact. <laughs> fact. Same. I can't, when my lips are chapped in a game, I can't focus on anything else. I cannot focus on anything else. Like, I might as well just get off the field. It's just so distracting. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I cannot function. Fact or fiction, every player has a superstition. Fact, I think. I feel like, I, this, is, this is gonna like sound weird, but I feel like we all have kind of like got to where we are because of how crazy we are. Like there's, there is always something that you have to do like before a game or before training that kind of like sets your mood and like sets what you're gonna do that day. Well, what's yours? I did have a really weird one. I had the same shin guards for like 25 years. Like I just got rid of them like not too long ago and they were disgusting. But I wore the same shin guards literally since I was like four or five years old. My parents probably still have them in some like weird trophy case or something at their house. I was gonna say they should be framed somewhere in your house. <laughs> I was gonna say they, they served you well. Why not? Really. <laughs> I know, I hope I- 25 years, that's a long I time. I know, I hope I still have them somewhere. Okay, well, I have another one. Fact or fiction, sunscreen needs to be worn year round. Fact, of course. I wear SPF every single day out to training, even if it's cloudy. And right. I just think it's super important because it's also just a habit that you should get in. Like, mm -hmm. even if it is cloudy or rainy, like I still think it's, I still think it's a really good habit because obviously our skin is so important. Right. Sometimes the cloudiest days too are when you need them most. Fact or fiction, players have favorite away stadiums to visit? Fact, for sure, yeah. I think it's I think it's kind of all about like the environment and just how it makes you feel. So there's definitely some better places than others, for sure. Well, don't be shy. Which stadiums are those? <laughs> I did always like to play <laughs> at the Orlando Pride. The weather's always nice. The grass is good. It's, it's a cool stadium. Even Portland Thorns, like, their crowd is insane. Like obviously mm -hmm. they hate you the entire game, but <laughs> it's such like a cool environment to play in. Cause you're just like, oh, like this is what it should feel like. Like it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> well, this was fun. Thank you for playing Factor Fiction with us. Of course, that was fun. Okay, Christy. We are nearing the end of our fun, but first we have some big questions for you. The question for this one is, thank someone from your past for the impact that they've had on your life on or off the pitch. We're going deep. Ooh, make us cry. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, that is so deep. Jeez, I'm gonna start sweating. <laughs> um, I feel like I can say my sister. She obviously had to retire, but she played the biggest role in my career and in my life, pretty much. Um, she is also someone that I look to for advice. Um, she was such like an outstanding player and um, and person and I feel like I just look up to her so much even though she's my younger sister I look up to her so much and if I didn't have her growing up I wouldn't be where I am today I think that we had such an amazing impact on each other and I just feel so lucky to have her like I feel so so lucky that she's my sister you're gonna make me cry. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> do I have any tissues? I'm like, what's in this bag that can stop me from crying? That was very sweet. I think just like you both be playing professional and playing at the highest level and representing the country together is like so cool. That's like so, surreal. so special. So whenever yeah. you talk about it, I'm like, oh, I have feels. <laughs> okay, okay, next question. What soccer memory do you cherish the most and why? I do really love the moment when, um, I came back after not being with the US team for a long time um, and I scored a goal in my first game back after seven years and after I scored the goal I turned around and my sister was right there and she was literally like, <laughs> like she like couldn't believe it that I scored and that I was like, I mean it just felt super like, super crazy because I feel like so many times in our life like we just, 
had that moment, but like having this moment together was also like just so cool because it was just like exactly where both of us wanted to be at that moment in time. Um, so I'll never forget that. And that was just like such a super special moment for me and I think for her and there's like a great picture of it. Um, and I think that that's, that's definitely a picture that I'll always look at and be like, oh my God, like we did that together. So that was pretty cool for me, I think. Thank you for sharing such insightful and like every time you, like, every time you talk about your sister, I just get emotional. Deep complex. <laughs> I know, you guys had me sweating there at the end. Like that was, that was so, <laughs> that was so deep. Well, we learned. I'm <laughs> sweating, I have to shower. Christy, thank you so much for joining us today. It was really fun chatting with you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. You can find all the products featured today below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Indivisa's Ready to Play brought to you by Elf Cosmetics. <laughs> That's better, right? That better. Right? Uh <laughs>